Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this time I got some Counter-Strike updates for you because a new update just dropped. So the most interesting thing is probably that the new case dropped, the kilowatt case with 17 new skins and the knife. So I thought I'd just do a quick rundown of all of the skins and give a and give a brief opinion on what I think about them. So first we got the duels hideout, uh, looks pretty ass but I think if you put some cool stickers on it, it could work. Next one is the MAC-10 light box, I really like the color scheme and the geometry on it, look clean. I don't like this Nova, it looks too minimalistic. I know a lot of people like those kind of skins, but I don't. But yeah, looks okay, I guess. We got the Scout Disaster, 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 Disastrous, Disaster. With this one, we got the Scout. Looks okay. I like the accents. I like the blue color, but it, well, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. The Tech 9 Slag. It looks like a Borderlands 2 gun with all this damage on it. I think it looks cool in game. On this picture, it looks pretty bad, but I think in game it will look pretty cool. Hopefully, this damage on the tech will change depending on uh, the condition of the skin. That would be cool, but I don't think it's possible but we will see. UMP motorized. I like the idea of it that he showed like the insides of the gun. I think this skin could show his potential in-game and not on a picture. I will try to find some in-game footage and if I find some, I will link it in the description below and show it to you. So uh, yeah, UMP motorized looks cool doesn't show whole potential though this one is like the nova it's like really minimalistic i like the barrel but overall it's a pretty mess skin then we got the <laughs> then we got the first purple skin the block 18 um nice idea it's a good idea but it looks like uh it looks like a designer glock it costs a lot i'm pretty sure it's like uh, from balenciaga or something or off-white there's actually a chair that looks similar to this glock from an architecture group i will show you a picture of it that kind of reminds me of this glock it's a funny idea but not the best skin edge lord i like this translucent magazine and the snake but i don't like that it's blue it's like a blue steel the, the m4 i would enjoy it more if it would be on the purple side but maybe it would change depending on the condition again that it will go from uh, blue to purple depending on the condition like this m4a1s with the zombie on it if it's like that it could look pretty cool in game 57 hybrid i like the colors and the materials but i don't like how he used them i don't like how they are like cut off on some of the parts but uh, yeah, not the best skin. MP7 just smile. A weird name, but I really like the color scheme he used. Like this blue, purple, yellow thing looks really cool. And also the font looks pretty cool. So yeah, a pretty good MP7 skin. Sort of analog input. It's really techy. It looks like techy. Someone who likes techy would like that, I think. I like how he used like the Xbox buttons on the skin. A nice idea. But uh, I don't like the red uh, accents on the skin. But overall, pretty decent skin. The first purple one, M4A1S Black Lotus. Probably my favorite skin for now. In this case, looks really nice. I really like the colors. I'm actually using a purple lowrat right now so this would fit in my lowrat pretty well but it's an a1s and i'm playing m4a4 and anyone who plays m4a1s is probably like under 250 pounds and can't even lift a zeus skin do you say zeus 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 i guess zeus i don't know i really like the art on it but i think zeus looks like a werewolf he looks so hairy doesn't he look like a werewolf well yeah it's it's cool it's just cool blue and and the yellow gold accents i think it doesn't look that cool in game because you won't see the side of this gun a lot because it has such a small surface but overall a nice design but probably not gonna look that nice in game usps jawbreaker that is probably my favorite skin that looks really nice i really like that i really like the colors especially this purple yellow blue looks really clean i think there's like good doggy written on the silencer it's kind of cringe kind of weird uh, not gonna lie bro probably would more appreciate if there would be like a good doggo written on it but overall a really clean skin i'm not playing usps as said before because i'm a real man and not a bitch so uh, i'm playing p2000 but actually good skin now to the first red one chrome cannon Okay, I gotta say on this picture, it looks pretty ass. Not gonna lie, it looks weird as hell. Looks like it's bugging out. But I think if you look at it in-game, it's gonna look uh, it's gonna look pretty nice. So I just watched in-game footage of the skin and I probably showed it to you also. The orb looks like it has a new uh, shape because of all the edges it creates with this optical illusion. I really like that. It's kind of overdone. It's too much, I think. I think it's too much shiny, blinky, blinky. But uh, I, can see, I, I can see why people would like it. It's a pretty cool skin, pretty decent. AK Inheritance. I just watched in-game footage of it and I thought it would look like porcelain in-game, like uh, shiny, a bit shiny and uh, like glass a bit because it's porcelain or it, sh or it should appear like porcelain. It doesn't look like porcelain in-game. It looks uh, more like stone, I gotta say, like marble or something. It's a cool skin, but I think it's not red worthy. I think I would put it in I would put it in purple and put something different in red. Maybe if you got the right stickers, you can craft something beautiful out of it. But for everyone who likes the cartel and like this more um, minimalistic skins that are not too flashy, I think that's a skin for you. And now to the knife. I know what knife is gonna be and I'm pretty sure you know also what knife is gonna be at the cookie knife. Not gonna say too much about it because I think it looks 
ugly as hell. This weird ass curve on this knife makes it look weird in game. And also this big ass nose makes it look weird in game. So if you play this knife, you're probably also weird. If you like it, you do you, man. You're weird and creepy, but you do you. I think some of them look crazy, but a big portion of those skins kind of look weak on the pictures. Maybe they will look better in game, especially the op. I think the op looks cool in game. The second thing would be the new stickers. There's a new sticker capsule, which is not the important part though. The important part is that CS now supports flexible sticker placement. So you can drag it around the gun and place it right where you want it and you can zoom in and you can use five stickers on a gun now so i think that will kind of change the sticker game so be ready to see some new crazy crafts i think it's kind of late that they change the sticker placement because there are a lot of uh, cool crafts out there with the default sticker placement that could have been better with the new system but i guess late is better than never right so the third most interesting or important change is uh, the zeus i would say because they kind of all worked how the zeus works in the old version you could just use it once and it would drop but now if you use it it will recharge after 30 seconds and you can use it again i think that's kind of cool because uh, i'm a big fan of the taser especially in eco rounds or force buys and now you can also play stickers on the taser i don't know if you can place five stickers on them because i think the gun is kind of small for that but uh, we will see i guess the next thing is that they added arms race so if you wear uh, arms race enjoy you can enjoy it just on two maps just on baggage and shoots for now i guess the other maps are work in progress and now about some uh, gameplay changes i'm not going to mention all of them just the more important things number one would be that they added the refund all button so you can now refund all, refund all your items i guess they tweaked some things on a sub tick shooting so i hope we don't get that crazy shots anymore where you hit the hitbox but not the player model they also nerfed the pika's advantage by 60 milliseconds i hear that a lot of people were tilled because they got killed before they could even react to it because of the pika's advantage i hope that's fixed now they also adjust the range of the CS rating that allowed to party together in premium matchmaking, so you probably won't be able to um, queue with your bot friend anymore. They also improved smoothness of sliding along surfaces, that's a big thing. And right beneath that we got fixed an issue where collision between players was jittery, that is actually huge because that was a big problem. I hope that's actually fixed now. Also, player pings are no longer blocked by invisible geometry. This is also actually a really nice change because I really had problems with that, that I would just uh, ping the wall in front of me instead where my crosshair was aimed. So that will make our life a bit easier. They also fixed the thing where you could like drop silently from specific surfaces. I couldn't really do it because I'm bad, but uh, well, that's fixed now for everyone that could do it. So I'm looking for the changes and searching for CL Bob, but I can't find it. So that's probably never going to happen. I skipped a lot of changes from the sound, gameplay and the map changes because I know a lot of people don't really care about that. But if you should care about that, I will link the patch notes below in the description. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, we didn't get an operation. I know a lot of people were waiting for that, but I think we got some really good gameplay and networking changes that could improve the smoothness of the game and I read already that a lot of people have a way better experience but as Valve said they want to first fix the game and then release a new bigger content so I hope that was the update that was fixing the game and hopefully we'll get operation uh, in the next update. I still hope you enjoyed guys see you next time and ciao!